Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Tech News Now. Today, we're discussing the exciting potential for high-capacity DDR5 memory modules on AMD 600 series motherboards. We'll be covering the exciting prospects for powerful DDR5 RAM and when we can expect the necessary firmware update to support them. It all begins with the release of 24GB and 48GB DDR5 memory modules for the Intel 600 and 700 series motherboards. The higher memory density and improved performance of DDR5 RAM is a boon to both work applications and gaming alike, and now mainstream users can enjoy the benefits of non-binary memory module capacities of up to 48GB in a single module. For a 4DIM motherboard, users will enjoy up to 192GB of RAM, while many ITX SFF enthusiasts can look forward to up to 96 gigabytes of RAM. Unfortunately, AMD 600 series motherboards are currently unable to use this non-binary memory, as they will require a firmware update to support them, known as Comboem 5 Pi 1.0.0.7. This firmware should come with support for 24 gigabytes and 48 gigabytes DDR5 memory modules. Some AM5 motherboards have already been able to boot with 24GB DIMMs, suggesting the necessary optimizations are working, though the full integration of the new RAM is not yet complete. At present, AMD has not released any official roadmaps for the firmware, leaving us to speculate when it might arrive. Current boards are running on Comboem 5 Pi 1.0.0.5C, and some vendors have released test BIOSes with Comboem 5 Pi 1.0.0.6. It could be a few weeks or months before we get to anticipate the arrival of version 1.0.0.7, and with it the ability to use higher capacity DDR5 memory modules on AMD 600 series motherboards. In summary, the release of 24GB and 48GB DDR5 memory modules is a great move accessible to mainstream users that need substantial memory capacity. AMD 600 series motherboards will need wait for AGSA 1.0.0.7 firmware to be released in order to support these modules, but the lack of ETA for it is still leaving us in the dark. We hope to have more information soon, and when that happens, we'll be the first to tell you. Until then, stay tuned for all the latest tech news right here.